Yeah, that would be really a, a community service announcement more than anything. Okay, now we're live. All right. Oh. Okay. Um, I think I shared show notes with you. Yep, yeah. Yep. My um, my my notes for Brutal Legend for the recap podcast. I, I wrote decapitation in giant letters at least four times. Decapitation. <laughs> I really gotta rip that out of the uh, sound files for that game so I can use it as a ringtone or a text message. Yeah, tone. it's ju- it's the best. <laughs> oh, that's what else I played. The thing I freaking streamed today. Oh, okay, yeah. Duh. That I'm interested to hear a lot about that. Should write that down. <laughs> yeah. I feel like I missed something. I'm gonna check Raptor here really quick though. You know, the moment where you're like, I know I played something else. Yeah, I can feel it in my bones. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I went to the Raptor website and the app uh, pops up a notification saying, "Congrats, you just earned five points." I don't, I don't know what that means. Yeah, I don't. What did I, what did I win? How, would, how do I use those points? Yeah. Okay. Cuphead is forty percent done, and they did the art before the mechanics. And it's gonna be a trilogy. <laughs> oh, that's the other thing I played. Whoops. Ha. I knew I had one more. Oh. Yeah, I'm, I'm not entirely excited about Cuphead yet. I mean, they, they need to show something where a human actually plays the game. Oh, is that that, uh, whatchamacallit? That uh, sort of animated toys? style, yeah. yeah. I mean, it, it could be a really great game, or it could be a game that's, that really like, good. QTE. Yeah. Over and over. Which, so, I love the style of it, uh, but I, I hope that they can make a game that is at, at least a little bit fun. Yeah. Wow, I am huge on that video, huh? Good thing I got a haircut. Oh, yeah. Actually... <laughs> Squeeze you down here a little bit. It's like a racist cartoon. That's fantastic. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> You're not wrong. <laughs> oh, all right. Uh, I, I think I got everything now. Yeah, I think I'm ready too. All right, let's uh, bang this thing out so I can go back into a part of the house that isn't boiling lava hot. That's a good call. All right, starting in three, two, one. Welcome back to another episode of That Video Game Podcast. I'm your host, Boston. Going around the room, we have the Hannah. Hello. It's just us. Yeah. I think we're alone now. <laughs> I think we're alone now. Um, there doesn't seem to be anyone around. Yeah. Uh, the uh, Knobs is off parts unknown, which I think is mm-hmm. just New York. Yeah. Uh, enjoying a long weekend. Yeah. Uh, so he wasn't able to uh, make the show, but that's okay. We, 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 we got it. We're all we good. Got this. We got this. We got lockdown. We're big I think, boys. I think we can handle this. We're all right. We're fine. Don't talk about Battlefield because then we're just done. Yeah, I don't, yeah, we are Battlefield free this week, so yeah. Um, our apologies. <laughs> yeah, if you're uh, if you're here for Battlefield, I, I check out three forty nine or three fifty one. I don't know. <laughs> yeah, and if you're hearing fireworks, I still have jerks around me setting them off. So oh, well, yeah. it's not dark yet here, so I expect that to happen as soon as it does, or Isn't any minute like now. A- wouldn't that be practically a criminal offense in California right it, now, though? It actually is. It's, I'm sure it is. Yeah, it's, it's, it is very illegal, especially with um, the two-and-a-half-year drought we're in. Uh, yeah, that's what I'm thinking. Like, someone's going to start a fire, and it's not going to go oh. well. Thank you, chat, for pointing out. I accidentally... So, for when I stream games on XSplit, I have to turn the volume down to, like, 20%, and when mm. I stream... Skype, I have to turn it up to 100%. So, ah, there we gotcha. go. Now everybody should sound, everybody should sound good now. Uh, all right, well, let's start off, uh, Hannah, with what have you been playing? Oh, uh, I played all sorts of stuff this week. I had a nice long weekend that started on Thursday. Oh, see, uh, I have Tuesday uh, off, so I've, I've got the other side. Okay, there you go. Uh, so this weekend opened up with me beating Watch Dogs. Hmm. Uh, and I was thoroughly unimpressed. So this uh, this weekend ended up with me platinuming Watch Dogs. <laughs> oh. Which oh. actually was pretty fun. That, and I'm sure it actually was fun, but like beating the main story in that game, it's just, it's just not a necessity. No. Just don't do it. You will like the game more if you don't. Yeah, I, I actually kind of like the game more now that 
I did all this side stuff. Mm-hmm. How were the, all those digital trip things? I think I only did one of them. Uh, those aren't required. Those don't. Oh, those don't nice. factor into your uh, percentage. So those are just wacky fun things they added in. Yeah, just because. Just like crazy. Hey, do you want to trip and be a spider tank? Yeah. Who doesn't? Hello? That sounds fantastic. That sounds yeah, way I, better than the stuff they pulled in the actual storyline. Yeah, the the stuff I was most surprised about was actually the um, the online stuff. The races didn't suck. Um, really? I thought they were That's terrible. shocking. I thought they'd be terrible. Most of them are um, on uh, motorcycles. So it kind of yeah. makes it fun because you're not really jockeying with each other. Yeah. Anyone, anytime you go into a race, you don't pick a car. It just gives everybody the same car. So That's fantastic. And to get the trophy, you just have to complete ten races, not win them. So you nice. just have to not DNF. Um, I think I talked about the... Um, the online tailing one last week where you yeah. basically stalk people that was that was actually my f my most favorite out of them mm -hmm. uh the online hacking wasn't super fun um they were i, I liked the ha the uh tailing more because you didn't have to let people know that you were there and it yeah. wasn't this weird like cat and mouse thing mm -hmm. what was the last one uh, was it Invasions? Uh, yeah. I don't remember. There's so much in that game that I'm kind of forgetting most of it now. Yeah, uh, I forgot most of the story because it's it's super dumb. It's so dumb. Yeah, it's... <laughs> we, we talked about it before we started recording here, and it's... We're certainly not going to spoil anything because, um... Uh... Because the, I feel like the story is important, not only because it's still a brand new game, but also yeah, because absolutely. I think the story is fairly important in the game, but they just, I think one of the lar largest problems I have is what I think I talked about last week is just, it's pacing. It's yeah. paced terribly badly, and by the time you get to the ending, you're like, oh, well that was... yeah. So um, w when I beat it, here's exactly how I ended up beating it. It was Wednesday night. I, I didn't work Thursday or Friday. I had a nice long weekend. And I decided Wednesday night, I'm like, I'm going to play a little Watch Dogs before I go to bed. Yeah. And before midnight, I, I had beaten uh, Act 2. Mm -hmm. So I'm like, oh, well, there's... There's really not much left after yeah, that. that's like the whole game is Act 2. I I, and you had mentioned that, so I looked at it and I was like, oh, oh, oh well, I just... I'm just going to beat this thing. Yeah. And I figured, you know, take me three hours tops. I'll go to bed at like three, four. No big deal. Uh-uh. No. I, I ended up curling up on the couch around 6 a.m. after beating this thing. Uh, because <laughs> I just w didn't want to give up. I had gone, no. No, I'm not going to let this game beat me. This game is not good enough to beat me. I'm going to finish this game. Yeah. And indeed I did. And and it broke you. <laughs> and it broke me. And I just passed out. I just suspended the game, put the PS3, PS4 in standby, and just passed out. Yeah. Um, but the very next day uh, led me into playing a ton of Brutal Legend and actually finishing it. Yes. Uh, which I'm super excited to talk about on the uh, recap in extreme detail. But I'll give the basic overview of my impressions here. Because I, I just have to say it out loud. That game, it, it seems like it's about to start dragging, and then it's over. Yeah, it's really weird where you're like, oh, well, okay, here's the bad guy, and here's, oh, it's another boss, but, oh, credits, okay. Yeah. It just, yeah, yeah, the other Jay-Z in chat. <laughs> decapitation, <laughs> indeed. Uh, in this notebook that's filled with my notes from that game, that is written down at least four times. Yeah. Uh, and I'm still I'm gonna go I'm gonna go in I'm gonna dig through the audio files for that game and just pull that out as a ringtone yeah because it's the best so you uh, did you still you know for a lot of games and and maybe especially for Double Fine's games do you mm -hmm. did you enjoy it the second time around is it oh yeah you went home and it was still okay it was still okay it wasn't um it wasn't the same obviously you're not gonna get that same like oh it's so great. But play, putting it on easy and just going through those battles, yeah, it it's, it still flows well pretty together. It yeah. still it feels like there's a bunch of stuff missing, 
Uh, mm. It feels like they did have to cut some stuff uh, from near the end of the game. Yeah. It just, like, the back half of that game feels very empty yeah. in comparison and, and to And very the, quick. The, yeah. Yeah. Um, but the the side missions are a ton of fun. I'm probably going to go back and try and 100% this game. Uh, the biggest thing, uh, the biggest problem I have with the game is the fact that there's no tracking of any of the items on the map. Oh, uh, yeah. So you don't know what you've gotten already, what you haven't gotten already. Uh, the guys over Achievement Hunter actually put together this really fantastic map for all of the items and Ooh. serpents and stuff uh, in the game. So I'm just going to I'm gonna pull that up. I'm going to drive around the world. And, Go I mean, from again, one corner to another. <laughs> Did yeah. you, um, do you have the DLC for the game? What, there was DLC? Yeah, there's one piece of DLC. I think it was like $2. And it, okay. it, there's a bunch of stuff that's in it. A bunch huh. of really minor stuff, but you can also give um, Eddie Riggs a beard, which I like. Oh, yeah. And there's I some, there's some achievement called Beard, Beard, Action Beard. <laughs> I think I have that, actually. I yeah. was able to give him a beard. I, there was, like, the oh. Mountain Man outfit or something. Yeah, I think you might have it then. Yeah, let me see. DLC. Oh, no, I don't have DLC. Oh, hmm. weird. Maybe they just rolled it into the PC version. I would hope so. Yeah, there's no downloadable content available for this game. Okay. Scene. Yeah, so they probably just rolled it into the main game. Yeah, oh, I just I, I love that game so much. I'm glad it, it still holds up. Yeah, and especially the soundtrack for me, just because like those most of those songs are just timeless. Oh yeah, I mean it's uh, it's very much a collection of songs that someone who really likes a lot of metal picked. Yeah, and it's not even just like one specific uh, era of metal. It's just kind yeah. of there's. There's a bunch of hair metal in here, and there's Anthrax, and there's, you know, a Manson yeah. song or two. It's just, like, it's kind of all over the place. Yeah, it really goes wild. And I think my favorite part was the comparison between this game and uh, the soundtrack on Watch Dogs. The soundtrack in Watch Dogs happened to have just a very eclectic mix of sort of Chicago punk and, like, other types of music, and, like, the one ministry song everybody knows, Jesus Built My Hot Pot. <laughs> yeah. it, it had to be in there. Yeah. You, can't have, you can't do that without that. Um, that soundtrack, by the way, I don't think we've talked about it on the show, is uh, pretty abysmal. It's pretty terrible. You know, I, I feel like... I was actually thinking about it because I'm, I'm starting to get a little bit excited for the um, GTA V on uh, PS4 and Xbox One. Mm -hmm. um, hopefully, as long as they fix the frame rate issues. Um but uh, I think the difference between something like Watch Dogs and even uh, to a lesser degree Sleeping Dogs, although that was in some other language, so I kind of enjoyed it for that reason, yeah. is if you're going to put a bunch of eclectic songs in there, you have to put enough of them in there so you can kind of find your station. You know, you yeah. can find your own specific thing. Like, there's... There's only 40 songs in that game, something like that. Some, yeah, there's not a lot. Yeah, so it's kind of like, oh, well, half of them are really bad punk, and half of them are clearly local Chicago rock bands. And the rest of them are like that one Weezer song and that one Ministry song. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and, like, there's so many Chicago bands they could have pulled from. They could have pulled some Local H in there. Yeah. They could have put some Smashing Pumpkins in there. There was um, one Smashing Pumpkins, but it's, like, it's not the song you wanted to hear. It was My Love oh, is Winter. Yeah. And I'm like, yeah, that's no, a and little that's too the... recent for this game. No, you don't do any Smashing Pumpkins outside of the 90s. Yeah. And even some of the 90s stuff is questionable yeah. as the later you get. You have, like, two albums that you can yeah, pick from. Yeah, which really, I, I'm, <laughs> and I'm sure old Emu will, say, will, will just crucify me for that, but whatever. Oh, I like all Smashing Pumpkins <laughs> albums, but, like, if you're going to put them in a game, you have two albums to pick from. Yeah, you really do. Yeah. Um, and just, like, and uh, actually, uh, the other Jay-Z points out, no KMFDM. Yeah, weird. How do you mess that up? Yeah. Uh, and the one I was hoping, I was hoping for a Dark Horse pick, just the original death metal band, Master, and they didn't have him in there, uh, which is a shame. Yeah, I wonder if at some point um, they don't, I, I wonder if at some point they really couldn't afford any of that. Because, you know, it's it's That's very clear awesome. that they couldn't afford, like, the um, the city landmark names, which yeah. you're going to put a hundred of them in there, so you're not going to, spend that money but 
You know, if mm-hmm. you go to say put uh, like Smashing Pumpkins today in the game, mm-hmm. how many millions of dollars is that going to cost? But if you put My Love Is Winter, they're like, I don't know, like you got a hundred bucks or like yeah. a Starbucks <laughs> gift card. I don't know. You know, it's not really. I, I uh, don't. I don't know. It Watch Dogs is weird. I'm I'm very excited for Watch Dogs too. I I'm a little excited. I'm very apprehensive about anything. Watchdogs related at this point because that story was really, really bad. Yeah, I like how they wrapped it up. I like, I like the state of everything at the end of it though. Yeah, yeah. it's sort of it, it was sort of one of those situations where it was sort of too little, too late for me. Yeah, um, yeah, I, yeah. There, and it was it had moments. The story had moments when you know, any time Lucky Lucky Quinn was involved, it was always pretty good. Yeah, that stuff was outstanding. And the stuff with uh, Iraq was yeah. really really solid too anytime there was some sort of direct interaction until like that last confrontation with him which was not great yeah that was um, weird yeah, yeah that was weird that felt like that felt like uh that felt as forced as the boss battles in the first batman arkham asylum game yeah where it's sort of like eh, i guess it's been long enough here's a boss battle yeah oh, it was too easy whatever yeah who yeah. cares um but yeah as I said, played a bunch of Brutal Legend, played a bunch of Watch Dogs, um, played a ton of Ali Ali on Vita, like oh. beat all of the uh, amateur level courses, uh, put a score on all of the uh, spots uh, yeah. for each of those, and started on the pro level courses. I think I got through like five or ten of those. Yeah. Which that game is just that game's too addictive for its own good yeah. um i might have to be done with it like just <laughs> might just have to delete while. it for yourself my, th- my thumbs still hurt oh yeah <laughs> and and my my right index finger is a little twitchy because that's the the rotate button oh uh, right which is the only way to get points uh, uh up to a certain point in that game it's like okay i'm doing crazy tricks how can i add some flair okay i can spin but you get to that point where you're gripping that that poor little console so hard that you're just destroying the the R button. Yeah. And it's you, you pull your finger back and you're like, ah, oh, it hurts. Why does it hurt? <laughs> oh, because I've been playing this for two hours. Yeah. Why are my hands sweaty? This is gross. Yeah. <laughs> Vita's just slipping out of there. Yeah. <clears throat> um, I played a little bit more Space Base DF9. I started a new base after our our show last week, and I I got it to a really good place, and I haven't gone back because I'm afraid of messing it up. (laughs) It's that point where it's like, if I never play it again, it's perfect. (laughs) Yes, it's just I put it in the bottle. Everybody lives. (laughs) Everybody lives, and it's fantastic. I had a a couple of scares. Uh, My entire security force got wiped out at one point. Oh, which was not not good. By raiders uh, or space worms? Uh, raiders. Okay. Uh, I had tried to board a derelict, and oh, it yeah. just didn't go well. And I had already lost a couple guys, and then raiders came out of nowhere. And oh man! Just, I'm just glad I built a, a wall-mounted laser in every single room. Man, I gotta play that game again. It's wall-mounted it's really lasers, you say? <laughs> wall-mounted laser cannons. It's. Jeez. It's a trip. Uh, it's really one of the better defenses you can have uh, outside of the actual security forces. Yeah. Uh, I, there are some interface issues still where trying to get your security forces to a specific spot using beacons can be a little tricky. Yeah, uh, that was... I feel like that's fairly low on their um, on their priority list because if you let Raider or uh, security forces kind of do their own thing, they figure it out eventually, or they, they just... Get stuck in an airlock and suffocate. Yeah, uh, the hard the one thing I had the hardest time with was trying to figure out how to actually board a derelict. I thought you had to like tag the airlock with a beacon. You actually just have to tag the derelict and not like a specific spot on it because you're not really tagging a specific spot on the derelict. You're actually yeah. tagging the space outside of it. So your dudes will just wander outside until they die. Yeah, yeah, that was Which stuff is, was. I'm a little disappointed to hear that there. That's still a little bit weird because it was sort of like yeah. no, just go, just go in the thing. I have it. You you can connect. I just, oh, yeah. Uh, but it was really nice finding a derelict that already had a garden area. Uh, just made a Ooh. couple of botanists and uh, didn't have to build that, so that was great. Nice. Um, and actually, the derelicts uh, and like the ships that sort of latch onto yours 
are really interesting to me because it sort of gives you an idea of like maybe how you should be building your base. Yeah. Um, cause I'm not building mine, anything like that at all. <laughs> I think hallways are for suckers. Oh yeah. Uh, personally, cause that's just, that's just extra time. Someone's got to spend going to the places. Yeah. See, I build one, one long hallway that's kind of segmented as I grow. Okay. So like one hallway that. can take about four rooms yeah. and then that way you can kind of partition off each of your areas, especially if there's raiders or space worms coming in. Yeah, no, I just build, like, I basically build the equivalent of, of a Borg a Borg cube. Oh, okay. Uh, and it's just squares everywhere. Um, I'm in the process currently of building a bunch of uh, uh, barracks for all my guys. And the problem I've discovered with doing that is suddenly everyone starts resting occasionally because they can. Yeah. Because there's beds and less work gets done. So I'm like, hmm, maybe I just won't build those next time. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, and then they just kind of fall over on the floor. Yeah. Yeah. That's and that's that's the thing I started doing was, okay, this person can't reach food, so I need to make sure I have a, a food replicator in every yeah. room. Uh I also have the emergency alarm and a fire extinguisher in every room, and I try to have a, a plant in every room now. Just yeah. every single one I put up, I'm like, okay, this is what's going in there every time. Yeah. Um and I think what's the, the most advanced thing I've built so far? I keep upgrading the the tech. I did as much research as I could. That was my first goal for this uh, particular build, and that's really paid off for me because uh, I have those uh, bigger uh, air filters oh, that okay. allow you to have more oxygen, more people. So like I haven't run into an issue at all where people come by and it's like, "Hey, can we crash at your base?" I'm like, "Totally, dude." Yeah, come on, um, man. It's a good. Yeah, it's a good time. Yeah, so I've got my med bay built, I've got my uh, the, the gym built, and I've got to do, I think my next big project is going to be trying to get a pub and restaurant built. Yeah. So that I can do something with the food that I have. Yeah. Um, but yeah, I've played, played a decent little bit of that. Um, let's see, that covers that, and that, and that, and that. Uh, played a little bit more of the Four Job Fiesta. Um I'm not. I'm almost at the Earth Crystal. I actually didn't have a whole lot of trouble with the Sandworm as I I thought I would. Oh, uh, huh. I did take your advice though. I did just murder my my uh, uh, Berserker. Yeah, there's no way to make it through otherwise. Yeah. Um, so I ended up doing that and just chucking magic at him. Uh, I had yeah. a Ranger and two Black Mages and just just, just rolled him. Yeah. And I'm like level 21, so... Oh, you're way overpowered, yeah. Yeah, I've made sure to overlevel, because I, I, once I realized I wasn't going to get any healing, I was like, alright, I better do this now. Yeah. Um, so I am at the part where the town of Gorn is floating. Mm -hmm. uh, I just beat all of the cannons... Uh, and then that I, I just had approached that boss cannon, but I sort of forgot to save. Uh-oh. <laughs> uh, and got annihilated right before we started here. Oh, so God. I'm going to have to go back and do that. You actually have a pretty good party for doing that, though. Yeah. With all it your went, thunder magic. Yeah, it went well until um, it what was it like it wasn't gravity wave. It was like light wave or something, but it just, oh, uh, it just annihilated shot. me. Yeah. yeah. Just killed everyone in one go. Yeah, you may want to, since your damage isn't going to be very high physically, you might just want to put everyone in the back row, see if you yeah. can mitigate some of that damage. So yeah, I just want to help everyone with Final Fantasy V. Like, I know everything about all of those bosses in and out, and I'm just like, oh, you could do this. Oh, you could do this. <laughs> That might not be a bad idea because I think I'm like because when he launches that attack, that means you're you're right there. You're about yep. to get it. Well, no, it's uh, actually time based. Oh really? Yep, it's turn based. Oh okay. So no, the I faster was, you burn uh, him down, the better the better you are because you you can avoid it if you move really really fast. Yeah, I'll have to see. I'll have to do something about that. I'll see if there's maybe like I can go back and get like the thunder rods from earlier in the game. Yeah, go break those. Yeah, that'd be a good idea. Do you, know, do, do you know about rod breaking? No. Okay. Uh, it's a little complicated to explain without the interface of Final Fantasy V up. Mm -hmm. um, go look Final Fantasy V rod breaking up online. You basically okay. equip 
a magic user with a rod and then use it in the item menu and then it breaks and casts a super high level version of that magic oh yeah i think i'm gonna do that that yeah. sounds yeah. uh I, fantastic i think it's either a level two or a level three mm -hmm. so for 750 gold you can cast a lot of very powerful thunder yeah, I think I'm going to try that. That yeah. sounds uh, that sounds wonderful. Uh, Don Bag in chat says Boston should make an audiobook of Final Fantasy V. Don't even tempt me. <laughs> you sh you need well, you'd need to do all the character voices. I would, yeah. And now would we go? Uh, would we call him Bart's or Butts? Because I think Bart's. Butts would be funnier. Yeah, I like Bart's better. <laughs> I I know Butts is the kind of the can canonical version, but Bart's just sounds to me even dumber. Like it's yeah. just. It would be fine if it was just Bart. Yeah, it would it, fine slash more, actually worse. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh man, that game is just oh, that game is so good. Yeah, that's 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 the next thing I'm conquering. So I'm, you have I'm on your first here. three jobs. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, and Ranger's been working out really well, especially switching bows. Yeah, Ranger's uh, gonna be really great. The highest level skill that the Ranger get is something called um, which version are you playing? I'm playing uh, the GBA. Okay, you'll get something called Rapid Fire, which attacks yeah. four times at once. Yes. And it, I've, I've, I've used the Ranger before. I think I had it like two oh, okay. years ago or a year it's, ago. And man, I was really happy with my so that. It's so powerful. It's I've so broken. I've never gotten one for the, for, the, uh, for the run, unfortunately. Yeah. Maybe next year. Indeed. Um, so played a bunch of that. Uh, and yesterday I was hanging out with uh, my younger brother, and we played Lego Marvel Super Heroes. For a little while on PS4 because nice. he hadn't played uh, PS4 yet. That game's good, but I find it incredibly annoying when you just like, ah, oh, where do I go next? All right, just start breaking stuff. All right, now I got to build this thing. Yep. It's just it gets very it's it's very tedious. Yeah, unfortunately, that's kind of the Lego games at this moment where it's go into yeah. a room, destroy everything, build something. Oh, it's that yeah. dude's thing. Okay. It's it's totally a cool thing to have around because I know like in the next couple of years like my niece and nephew are getting to that age where it's like oh we want to play video games yeah and like loading that up is just gonna be a blast Here, for I have them all of the Lego games <laughs> yeah and just let's play those let's let's I have all of the uh, the Marvel superheroes we can totally play that yeah uh, but as far as it as a game goes it seems like I I, th I think I understand where it's going and I'm not terribly interested. Yeah, the story is fairly obvious if you know yeah. anything about the Marvel Universe. Yeah. Uh, so I played a bunch of that, uh, but then we switched over to Diablo 3 Couch Co-op. Oh, yeah. Which is phenomenal. Yeah. The, just the, the Couch Co-op is... It, it, it's just it's so seamless, it's so perfect... And it's really easy. You just drop into the game, and there you are. It's one of those things where it's like, oh, it's just stuff. working. Okay. Yeah. Great. Uh, uh, and we got into a really good groove. I started a monk, uh, and he started a witch doctor. And the uh, God, the witch doctor and the monk combo that's that's pretty brutal. It's pretty crazy. Because he he would just he would do the the claws or the hands of the doomed or something and it would it would be like the slowing effect that uh, the witch doctor gets yeah and he'd chuck a couple jars of spiders out there which is the best attack ever it's pretty great <laughs> and I would just I got the teleport punch so I was just like mashing A until everything died yeah. Uh, that game is. I'm super excited to get the uh, the Ultimate Evil Edition yes. uh, when it comes out for PS4, and just play that forever. Yeah. Because I don't. I don't think I'll need another game. Probably not. I mean, I, I'm finally taking a break from the PC version until they put ladders in there. Uh, <laughs> by the time they do that, the PS4 version will likely be out. So. More than likely. Yeah. Um, but I played, uh, I played, we played a bunch of that. Uh, I think we got to probably the middle of the first, uh, first act. Yeah. And, you know, we, we got to the point where we needed to find Leoric's crown. Mm hmm And I think we're, or we're like right outside the, the, uh, is it the cathedral? Yeah. Yeah. Uh, so we're doing that, and I think that's going to be, we're going to try and do a little bit more of that before he, he goes off to college this, uh, this year, so... Try and get through that. Yeah. Uh, and the last game I played this week uh, is a very interesting one. Uh, I played some Dishonored. Oh, okay. I would not have guessed that. 
Yeah, so I've had this installed for a while. I got it from a Steam sale a while back, and on paper, I, I always knew I would like this game. Mm-hmm. I just never really gave it a fair shake. Uh, so for not, not surprisingly, I actually really like this game. Huh. <laughs> I know it's been really divisive. Some people are like, it, yeah, it's okay, and some people are like, well, no, it's not fun at all. It's sort of, it's it's in this weird, air, so it's it feels like a Bioshock game. It feels yeah. very much like a Bioshock game, uh, both good and bad, because the world is really detailed and really interesting, and and the the characters are very compelling, and all the stuff you can do is really fun. All the little magic powers you get, but at the same time, uh, combat sort of, eh. yeah. you know, like you can I can if you're in stealth, like. It's way more fun because you can just blink to a guy and stab him in the neck and blink to the next guy and stab him in the neck. Oh, jeez. And it's tons of fun. Uh, but if you get found, you're like, oh, this crap again. Okay. And it's just it's a matter of, okay, I'm going to parry and I'm going to hit you and you're going to die. Yeah. And, oh, you're going to shoot me. Oh, and you're going to set off the alarm. And now there's 12 of you and I may as well just reload. <laughs> yeah. So it's... Um, it's a really cool game. Uh, mm. I love the leveling system. You find these runes uh, that you have to collect to sort of feed into the new powers. Uh, each power, I think, has two separate levels, so you can, you know, get the baseline of each of them and then upgrade the upgrade the ones you really like. Oh, okay. Uh, and you can also upgrade some of your base stats with the runes as well. Mm. Uh, my favorite thing, though, is uh, to find these runes. You get Basically, a clockwork heart. Uh, oh, I've heard about that. Yeah, and you 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 equip this, and it, it takes up your left hand slot, but it points you in the direction of uh, both runes and one of the other items, which is bone charms. Uh, and bone charms are literally these little things carved out of bone that give you different, like minor stat boosts or minor ability boosts. Hmm. Um, so you get things like uh, you can breathe longer underwater, you can swim faster underwater, or you recharge mana faster, or uh, explosions do less damage, or you can make bigger explosions and things like, like little modifiers. Yeah. Uh, and I think the max you can have is ten at once, but there's so many of them in in every level. Uh, it, it came it came to me it became for me just a quest of finding these things. Yeah. Uh, so I need to. I, I feel myself sort of getting lost in that little side quest, and I, I don't want to do that. Yeah, I, I want to actually play the game. I just want to finish it. Yeah. So yeah. I think I'm going to try and avoid unless I, unless I get close enough to one where it says, "Hey, you're right, like right on top of one. How about you equip that heart and you know sniff it out?" Yeah. I don't want to know. Yeah, uh, but it becomes very quickly like because uh, it it tells you exactly how many are in each level. Oh no. So you know when you're finished. My kryptonite. <laughs> yeah, it's like and it's not even a bar. It's just a fraction. It's like oh, you found five out of seven, and really what that says to me is oh, you missed two of them. Yeah. It so just, you need to go back. Yeah. What have you done? Yeah, you you're two. you're an awful human being. You need to go get those two. Otherwise, I mean, really, why are you playing this? What's yeah. the point? <laughs> Uh, but that game is really interesting. If you're not bothered by somewhat repetitive combat, but you're really interested in the world, give it a stab. <laughs> um, <laughs> hey, um, yeah, just seriously, give it a chance. It, I think it, I don't know. I wouldn't say it got overlooked, but I think a lot of people were like, "Oh yeah, that game. I I've been meaning to play that." Yeah, well, and I it's think like it, three years later. I think it had a really aggressive marketing campaign. I think it had a lot of hype, and when it came out, I feel like a lot of people played it, and they were just sort of like, "Yeah, it's okay. That's yeah. fine. You don't. I mean, it you did, don't need to play it right now." It didn't get the big. You're like, "Oh, this is so amazing!" Yeah, you but it, my head. You have to play this. It's a thoroughly interesting world. I love the. It's sort of like. It's like this post-apocalyptic, like, Victorian meets, like, equilibrium sort of thing going on. Yeah. Uh, The only thing it's missing is the gun kata from that thing. Which, by the way, why hasn't that that been a game yet? You know, I feel like someone must have tried at some point. And maybe that's when... Maybe that's what we got for a stranglehold. Yeah. Uh, But, uh, you know, I don't... I'm sure someone eventually came out with something. Although, I think we did get an equilibrium game... 
For the Game Boy Advance? No, I'm thinking Maybe. of X versus Sever. Sorry. Yeah. That was a weird Wikipedia rabbit hole that my brain just went on. I have a problem. I could've, I could have I, I could have sworn there was like a mod for it was a Max Payne two mod or uh, something. No, that makes sense. Yeah, it was like I think it was called like Tetragrammaton after the actual like Order of Clerics, and then I, I love the movie Equilibrium. Yeah, Enough said. It's pretty great. Okay, and it doesn't hold up very well, but it's still great. Yeah, <laughs> it has Christian Bale. Just go watch it. Yep, Christian Bale and Sean Bean. Oh, that's true. And Tay Diggs. Oh yeah, he was good in that. Yeah. Yeah. And uh, Robert the Bruce from uh, Braveheart. I forget what his actual name <laughs> yeah. is. Yeah, <laughs> he doesn't have one. <laughs> no, he doesn't. Uh, but that's all I played this week. Uh, I finished up my uh, Final Fantasy V run. Uh, nice. 13 hours, uh, all all told. 13 and change, I think. Uh, my final party was Monk, Mystic Knight, Ninja, Samurai, which was... That's, uh, I, I that's f- a powerhouse, but there's not a whole lot of healing happening there. There is zero healing. Um, yeah. I, uh, I feel badly since Mina is in, in chat right now, but I had a really easy time going through that game. <laughs> uh, you can watch my whole... I actually... Uh, captured the whole thing, uh, twitch.tv slash Boston Hannon. Um, I, I, I archived the whole thing uh, there so you can kind of watch the whole thing. I I basically spent 13 hours brain dumping all of my inane knowledge about Final Fantasy V, so if you yeah. want to learn which bosses are heavy and which ones aren't, um, I, I'm your man. <laughs> I'll probably be watching that then. <laughs> Especially uh. since I had to break a pretty good amount of the game since I didn't have any healing. So a yeah. lot of the game was, okay, how do I rush as much damage as humanly possible in about 30 seconds to beat this boss um that's it's come right at me um if you're not watching live stream you should twitch.tv slash e1m1 network watch me get attacked <laughs> by a curtain yep. um uh i i still really like final fantasy 5 and i i i hope that some people are able to watch my stream and watch me explain kind of why i love what has to be one of the campiest JRPGs ever. and Oh, without question. One of the games that takes itself the least seriously. I mean, yeah. the final boss is a tree. Like, you're fighting a tree. I mean, it's just... It's so, so dumb. Um, uh, but if you want to... Um, you can watch my live stream, and we talk about it a lot on the most recent episode of uh, Ping Up the Pixels, which comes out uh, same day that this uh, show comes out. It's episode 30... Six. Yep. Um, so go listen there. We, we talk a lot about um, kind of the mechanics and the ins and outs of uh, of Final Fantasy V. I'm probably going to do another run at some point. Um, I'm waffling between either doing a traditional normal run um, or maybe doing a, a, a random run um, in Final Fantasy V. So the random run is kind of neat because you'll get your first crystal... Uh, and you'll get your job from there, and then with your second crystal, your next job will come from either one of those crystals, and then your third one will come from any of the three crystals and fourth and so on. So you could get four jobs that are all from the first crystal or anything, so it's all over the place. That sounds that actually sounds really interesting. I, I would consider that, actually, if I end up finishing this run. Yeah, I think the... The uh, fiesta doesn't end until September first, so there's still oh, wow. quite a bit of time left. I yeah, I I'm on track to probably finish this by the end of the month. So yeah, it's you know the great thing about it is even if you get a really bad party, for anybody that wants to play Final Fantasy V, don't don't play it as the fiesta the very first time. Um, but if you want to play Final Fantasy V, I think the longest time you'll spend with it is probably 20 hours. I mean, it's a it's a fairly short RPG. Um, yeah. So I, I can't recommend it enough. It's it's super great and super dumb, and I love everything about it. <laughs> uh, but I might as well stop myself before I start talking about the ins and outs of the math in, <laughs> involved in that game. Yeah. Uh, I did, uh, after I platinumed Watch Dogs, I decided, well, let's platinum the next game in my uh, list, which is Lego The Hobbit. Um, That's a... Um, hmm. I have a problem with all Lego games, and I have to finish those 100%. <laughs> I, do, I don't know why, but there's something about it where you open up that map, and then there's still stuff there that needs to get done, and I have to do all of it. Um, yeah. And eventually, it doesn't doesn't get fun. <laughs> but um, I, I actually... Lego The Hobbit is kind of exactly what you uh, expect 
a Lego game to be. Um, but I don't think it's nearly as fun as Lego Marvel Super Heroes is. Yeah. Um, I think the hub world in Marvel is way more interesting and way better laid out. Um, I can see that. I, I think it treats... So it's actually the first two movies in the Hobbit trilogy. Apparently they're going to add the third one into the game as DLC later, which is kind of nice. Yeah, rather than releasing a whole separate game like they would have. Yeah, five they'll probably years ago. release like a trilogy one with the DLC, but that's, you know, that's I, I feel like that's okay. Yeah. Um it looks like it's fairly easy to um uh platinum. It's not nearly as as lengthy as a Marvel game is. Um mm. I finished the main game uh the the first two movies and was at like 27%. Um so that's fairly mm. high for a Lego game. Um yeah. This dog outside is killing me. Um, <laughs> it's just like having Nobbs' dogs back on. Um, Yay! <laughs> uh, yeah, and it seems, it's kind of, you know, I'm, I'm on a five-day vacation, and it's kind of, I just finished Watch Dogs, and I didn't really want to play the other game I have in my pile, which is Infamous Second Son, because I don't really feel yet like getting into another open-world game. Okay. So then, of course, I pick up Lego The Hobbit, which I forgot is another open-world Lego game. Um, mm. But at least it's kind of one of those things where I can turn my brain off and just kind of collect and destroy stuff, where it's like, oh, this thing's blue and sparkly. All right, I need uh, one of these magic dudes to break it. Yay, there's something behind it. I'm the best. You know, it's <laughs> kind of it's kind of you're the best the video game. So, um, I, you know... I, <laughs> At this point, the Lego games are a known quantity, except for the one for Wii U, which I haven't played yet. Um, so it's just, it's fun. I like it. Everything everything is good about it. Yeah. Um, after finishing Final Fantasy V, I decided to stream another one of my favorite Final Fantasy games. Um, because I saw that. everybody hates it. Um, and I decided <laughs> to go for Final Fantasy XII International Zodiac Job System. Um, I really love Final Fantasy XII. And I, I feel like... I said this on Pup the other day, um, but 5 and 12 are basically my number 1 and 2 uh, at any given time. It depends on which day you ask me which one is 1 and which one is 2. Um, yeah. But I, I, I love it, and I haven't played it in about 5 years. I think the last time I played it was when we played it for TVGP Plays number 1, I think it was. Oh, wow. Um, which was about five, four or 5 years ago. Uh, so I figured it was kind of time to do so, and now it works in PC SX2, the PS2 emulator for PC. Very nice. Um, so plugged in my DS4, and before anybody asks, I have a legitimate copy of both International Job System and the original Final Fantasy XII. Nice. Um, uh, and I just, I never played Zodiac Job System, and it, it's it directly addresses one of the problems that most people had with the game, which is the license board sucks because everybody gets the same license board. So it's kind of boring. Okay. And what it does is it pulls the job system out of final fantasy five and throws it into 12. <gasps> but the big difference between it is unlike five where you can, you can switch your jobs up and mix and match yeah. 12, as soon as you get a character, you have to pick a job for them, and then that's their job for the entire game. Oh. Um, which huh. has sounded really scary to me, yeah. because I, I like 5 so much. <laughs> you know, yeah. it's sort of like, you, I, you love the malleability of it. Yeah, and I love giving someone, you know, like, I like the idea of giving a berserker rapid fire. You know, like, it, it's, <laughs> I don't think you can do that. No one quote me on that. Um I'm going to try it. But it's that kind of idea where it's like, yeah, this person is doing about three things, and I'm just walking through this game. So I spent a lot of time, and we talked a lot about this on Pup, so I'm not going to really um, uh, belabor this this game too much. Um, yeah. But I spent a lot of time researching online about what's... The job system version, the international version, has been out for so long that the interesting thing is sort of like Final Fantasy V... And almost, there's only one party in Final Fantasy V that you kind of can't beat the game with because it's too hard. But mm -hmm. almost every combination of, of parties in that game that you get is going to allow you to finish five. And 
the thing that I've been interested in with 12 is I went to go find, you know, what's the best party if you're going to play the international version of 12? Like, what should you just play? And there's yeah. really no consensus of, hey, just pick these people and then everything will be okay. Well, that's good. So that kind of eased my worry a little bit of like, oh, man, what if I what if I give too many people the white mage and, oh, what am I? So I, I picked uh, someone um, on GameFAQs, actually on their boards, um, uh, had a, a long posting history of trying to find the best party, and they posted mm. this party that they had a lot of fun uh, with the uh, in the game with, and I'm just going to steal their party. There you go. Because <laughs> there's 12 jobs and there's 6 characters. So at some mm. point you can't have everything and you can't try out all of them. Um, yeah. And some of the characters you get so late in the game anyway. Um, you know, I, I just... I didn't really want to risk it, especially if I'm going to stream it. I don't want to get halfway through the game and be like, well, can't finish this game. Thanks, guys. See you later. Um, so I'm going to stream that every once in a while. I was hoping to do more of it, but it's been so freaking hot here. I can't hang out in this office for very long. Yeah. Um, so watch my Twitch channel for that. Um, that is going to be a really interesting time because they changed enough about the inner workings of 12 that... I'm re-experiencing one of my favorite games for the second time. That's um, fantastic. So it's very, very interesting. Um, and the last game I uh, played is actually one that I forgot about uh, that I streamed this morning is Shovel Knight. Um, ah. I talked about this last week, two weeks ago, recently. Last week, yeah. Yeah. Um, so I beat the kind of the first main screen of uh, Shovel Knight. Um and, you know, the, the fog of war moved across the screen and then showed me more Super Mario Bros. 3. Um, and this morning I beat the next three dungeons. Um, okay. And, man, that game, on a dime, got much more difficult, but not in an mm -hmm. unfair way. It's just sort of yeah. like, hey, you beat those original bosses. You, you really need to pay attention now because... We're not messing around. Like, you know all the mechanics. You know how everything goes. Here's a yeah. boss that's just going to throw a ton of stuff at you and rush you the entire time. And huh. now we're going to have bosses on the world map, too. So you need to beat those as well. Um, it is... It continues to be incredibly impressive. And I, it, it's kind of boggling my mind of how much fun I'm having with this game even though I'm not super great at it mm -hmm. is I, I think the other Jay-Z just said in chat Shovel Knight is the perfect amount of difficult it really is because the controls are, are, are perfect and if you die you did that to yourself like either you didn't see something in the environment or you did something really dumb um <laughs> Or you just weren't paying attention to what the levels are trying to teach you, and the game punish you for it. But it's never that punishing, because there's enough checkpoints in the, the levels that you just get thrown back maybe a handful of screens at worst, um, and then just keep moving your way. Um, I, I can't recommend this game enough. I think I'm about halfway through it now. Um, I, I can't really tell, because the fog of war keeps marching to the right and unveiling even more bosses so this morning it unveiled three more mm. um so um i just it's just outstandingly good the music is continues to get even better uh graphically it's crazy um that if if anybody hasn't checked out the um gama sutra article about um how they kind of broke the nes and why the nes works uh that's a really fascinating read um, it really was. I just, it's just so, it's an outstanding game. I can't recommend it enough. It's fifteen bucks. It supports. They just posted the actual raw code for how many controllers they support, and as of right <laughs> now, it's about forty-five. Wow! Um, if you have a controller, plug it in your PC, and it will work for the for that game, which That's is That's impressive. Crazy. Yeah. Um. So, yeah, I, I can't recommend it enough, and I know it has some sort of new game plus, so I'm kind of looking forward to that. Um, uh, but that's all I've been playing, because I mostly played Watch Dogs, trying to 
platinum that because I'm crazy. You are crazy. I I disagree with your decision, but yeah, I respect I, I'm, it. Yeah, I'm really bad. <laughs> um, so uh, let's take a break. Cool. Oh, oh man. So hot here. Yeah, it's a little warm in here, too. So I found that mod. Mm. Uh, it's called Hall of Mirrors, and it's for Max Payne 2. I knew I had seen something like that before. Hall of Mirrors. Whoops, um, whoops, whoops. So I just put that in Twitch chat for anybody that wants to check that out. Um, and by the way, glad to see ModDB still up and running. Yeah, that's what I was just thinking. Like, all right, man. Yeah. But yeah, this apparently this, uh, this is a total conversion for Max Payne 2. Wow. Uh, which is also a phrase I haven't heard in forever. Yeah, oh man, did you get that Doom TC? Like, yeah. Wow. <laughs> what is no, this man, life? email me the WAD file. It's oh, too big, God. man. <laughs> it's three megs. I can't yeah. fit on a floppy. Yep. What was the... Oh, God, there was, a, there was a really great Star Wars total conversion for Doom as well. Yeah. I was a fan of that one. Uh, the other Jay-Z sent me a tweet saying that he is unwilling to pay $17 for FF5 on iOS. I don't blame you. I'm crazy, so I did. Um, mm. Keep an eye out for um, sales. That's usually, they'll, every once in a while, they'll take kind of half off. Yeah. Uh, and I feel like less than $10 for a 20-hour vastly replayable RPG that I am totally biased towards uh, yeah. is probably a pretty good, uh, pretty good deal. <laughs> I'm I'm really excited to get that on Vita because it sounds like they're going for it. Uh, which one? Uh, Shovel Knight. Oh yeah, I I hope they do. Yeah, I I heard something that saying that they were going to. Yeah. Uh, let's see if I can find that. Uh, yeah, it was just Sony working on getting Shovel Knight to PS4 and Vita because it would be perfect. Yeah, I mean that's just one of those games on that platform that's just. It's a perfect fit. Yeah, it really is. All right. Let me get show notes up again here. So I somehow managed to close that tab. Actually, I'm going to re-register for the Forge Job Fiesta. I just remembered I have two more days off this week. Nice. <laughs> uh, I want to play a random run with no restrictions. Oh, Red Rand. Okay. Yep. Gilgabot. Red Rand. Go crazy. Yeah, I think uh, Jay Z says I don't hate 750 for that game. 17 is bananas. I agree. I I would yeah. argue for, I would argue against that attitude for virtually all the other Final Fantasies on there, especially Tactics. Because uh, those games are just astronomically long, uh, yeah. and are of such a high quality. But Final Fantasy V is is fairly short, um, and I feel like. And the other one I would argue against is Chrono Trigger because I think they screwed up the font in that game. Mm. Um, but that's about it. Yeah. Okay. Let's see if I have my first job again da, da, da. Da, 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 da. <laughs> Helvetica no it's some horrible oh yeah blue mage what what nice good start learning all the vampire yeah did you are there no are there really no releases this week no there is like one. I thought there was a couple of games coming out. Uh, when I looked, there was um, there's a One Piece game coming out. Okay. Um, and that's about it. If you can find any games, let me know. Yeah, I got a couple here actually. One I was waiting for last week. Oh, uh, Another World comes out this yeah, week. Yeah, yeah. Another that was World supposed to come out last week. Um, uh, I'll fix it. Wolf Among Us uh, new episode comes out too. Oh, okay. Yeah. Let me, uh, let me see if there's any more. This is just I'm looking at PlayStation's blog PS3, at the moment. PS3, PS4, and PS Vita, and then Wolf Among Us Episode Five. I think so. Yeah. On stuff. On all the things that it's out on. Yeah. Uh, 
Let me see. Uh, PS3 um, and PC. Yeah, One Piece Unlimited World Red comes out for a lot of stuff, but I'm not going to talk about One Piece. I don't, I don't know anything about it. Yeah, that's probably a good idea. I feel like there's... Uh, are we hitting the summer drought again? Is that happening? Well, I mean, October is going to be a thing this year. Yeah, so it really is. October is, is going to be... I'm, I should start saving now. Yeah. Yep, yep, yep. Yeah, that's really it. Yeah. It's a shame. All right. All right, you ready to uh, kick this thing off? Yeah. <gasps> oh, excuse me. Oh. All right. Uh, starting in three... Two, one. Let's talk about releases for the week of July 7th, 2014. We have Another World coming out for PS3, PS4, and PS Vita, also Ooh. known as Out of This World. Um, this was supposed to come out a couple weeks ago and maybe did for the Wii U and the 3DS. Yeah. And now it's coming out for the the other platforms. Yeah, I was uh, actually it was for everything but Sony platforms, and I was really okay. looking forward to playing this on something with a D-pad because the last time I played this was on a phone. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> uh, and the other game coming out this week is The Wolf Among Us, episode 5, coming out for, I think, everything it comes out for. So, yeah. including your microwave at this point. Uh, U.S. releases for the week of July 7th, 2004, nothing. Also, apparently a decade ago was another drought. Uh, maybe they were saving up for October in uh, 2004 like we are in 2014. Yeah, uh, I, I mean, I just remember summer being like the worst time to want video. It was like a nice time to catch up on your backlog. Catch Nothing up on some RPGs. Yeah. yeah. Uh, let's move on to news stories. Uh, in a really weird news story, Lindsay Lohan sues Rockstar over GTA V. Uh, hmm. She is saying that the game is based on her likeness and her her life story and uh, used without permission. Um, for anybody that's played GTA V, I find this really, really funny because it, it's not specifically her. It is every young starlet in Hollywood that was like her. Yeah. So she's proving the game's point by taking offense to the game proving its point. <laughs> So yeah. <laughs> that's kind of why I'm really tickled about this. Normally we wouldn't r report on this because it's just a celebrity Silly. suing Rockstar. Who cares at this point? Yeah. Uh, but I, I really like that she took offense to something that isn't specifically calling her out, but now maybe kind of is because she pushed it. Yeah, it just seems like uh, she's... Yeah, she uh, she doesn't need this kind of PR right now. You no, know? just, You'd think just she'd lay be like, low. Yeah, just chill out, hang out. Yeah, everything will be okay. Yeah. Uh, our next news story here is uh, in one of the most surprising and depressing news stories in a while. Uh, the next Doom game, the sneak peek at QuakeCon, will only be available for QuakeCon attendees of the show. Hmm. That, that's a bummer. That's so... I think... For some people, they might be like, well, you know, that's the new id. Whatever, they're dead anyway. But that I I want to be excited about Doom 4, but I don't, um, I don't mm. know anything about Doom 4 other than, hey, you should watch this trailer from E3, which I didn't. So Yeah. An id without... Uh, okay, a QuakeCon without a John Carmack keynote is not a QuakeCon. Yeah, can he at least it post really a isn't. plan file or something? Like, yeah, we need I'd something. I'd be okay with that. Uh, and it, it is actually really uh, that was one of the first things I realized when uh, Carmack left it was we're not going to get a QuakeCon keynote this year and I got super bummed yeah I, I, maybe he'll do some sort of live stream I'm going to talk to you and no one's going to stop me <laughs> well legally speaking can he <laughs> oh probably I'm, I'm sure he could go on the internet and talk about stuff he'd be like yeah. hey you want to know about when I made the Doom engine watch my four hour video yeah. Don't blink. I mean, <laughs> <sighs> um, the other G Z says, uh, are they gonna squelch coverage or something? I'm sure they're gonna try. I'm sure they're gonna throw DMCA at every YouTube video of a smartphone shot shaky cam of that trailer or whatever. Yeah. It'll get out eventually. And 
they'll probably release that teaser after the show, I'm sure. Mm -hmm. But they probably haven't announced it, so they'll have people go to the show. That's sure. that's my only guess. Um, and the last news story we have here that I I, don't, I can't really talk about yet because I don't know entirely what's going on. But um, all the title was that Rhode Island agrees to a 4.4 million uh, settlement in the Kingdoms of Amalur 38 Studios suit. But there's mm. not a ton of information out there about what that really means yet. You know, what does that mean for... Uh, the government of Rhode Island or um, any of the taxpayers, you know, I, where does that leave the Kingdoms of Amalur IP? You know, no one, no one really knows what that means yet. But it sounds like they're the the suit and the the case is progressing at least a little bit. Yeah. Well, at least they're doing something with it. Yeah. Hopefully. Yeah. Um, that's all the news stories I had for this week. It's kind of a quiet post e3 did you see anything else i don't not a lot of not that really there. there hasn't been a ton yeah uh let's move on over to tweets then all uh, right let's scroll over here on tweet deck over to tvgp uh, mm. a lot of people are uh, fighting about um fourth of july nintendo and moon pair cough cough uh <laughs> the other gz writes in and says shovel knights seem to have the perfect amount of difficulty I could recognize most victory paths in one or two tries. I feel like they got that right. Do you agree that this should be the standard? I didn't die a lot till the last boss. Um, I, I feel like a lot of games are getting are getting that right. I think we talked about this maybe a week or two ago, where it was sort of, you know, when you when you look at a game and everything is dark except for the one light bulb over the door that you're supposed to go through, and you're like, oh, I should probably I should probably go over there. Um, I feel like that even goes into Shovel Knight too, where even though it's much more simplistic, you kind of it's clear enough and it's clean enough in the way that a lot of older games were, where it's sort of like, oh, I can just kind of see the path through the maze. Okay, cool. Um, you know, if it's an auto scroller, you can kind of tell. You know, all that stuff. It it kind of it kind of you you instinctively know what to do already. Mm -hmm. Um. I don't necessarily know if it should be the standard because I sort of want some games to leave me at some point sort of like, wait, where? Okay, wait, I have to explore a little bit around here to get this Lara Croft Tomb Raider mirror puzzle to work. But, um, <laughs> you know, I've, there's probably there's probably a space for both, I guess. Uh, the other Jay-Z said uh, in chat, Shovel Knight struck me a lot as a lot more execution over understanding. Yeah, I, I think I think they really, in a weird way, I think they studied 8-bit uh, and 16-bit games to really find, you know, when, when someone loved the game they were making back in the NES and Genesis and Super NES days and really spent the time to make it great, what did that mean for the player experience? Um, something that I think a lot of people go through and do a lot of, you know, uh, psychological studies and, you know, case studies and stuff to be like, oh, well, gamers really respond to the color purple, so make a purple door where they want to go or something. Um, yeah. But it, it seems a lot more like, well, if you're going to make a classic game, instead of just making a, a pixel platformer, let's make a game that would have come out back then. Yeah. Yeah. Um, let's move on to emails here. Mm -hmm. uh, Michael S. A.K. Chino sends in. He says, lightning round. All three Ooh. of you, two of us this week, <laughs> <I'm> uh, <up>. <laughs> name five bad games that we should steer clear of in your opinions. Uh, uh, Drake of the Night Nine Dragons. Yeah. Uh, I, uh, yeah. Even though I enjoyed it, probably um, 99 Nights. One and okay. two for the 360. Both of those yeah. were kind of not great. Uh, Kane and Lynch, two. Yeah, I actually reviewed that game. Ooh. I, I, I don't. I think I gave the nicest scathing review that I have ever <laughs> of anything. Just to say, like, you know, the bad part about. All right, let's talk about Kane Lynch two here for a minute. Okay. Kane Lynch two uh, is a really good game with a really interesting story that is four hours long. Yep. It could have been such a cool game if it was like three times 
the amount of its length and kept adding cool stuff on top of it. But man, I just... That game is just... You 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 get to the credits and you think it's a joke. We're like, <laughs> I get it. They flew off on this plane. It's just... It's... Oh, oh, man. Oh. Wait, yeah. I really am done with the game. Yeah, okay. it's really... Uh... Well, that's not great. Uh, what else we got? I'm trying to think. I, I've uh, I'm trying to think of we you, we talk a lot about bad games. You know, I could say Guilty Gear Asuka, but you know, I that's only bad in one way. Yeah, and it's still fa- oh um, another Arc System Works fighting game, Battle Fantasia. Um, just very strangely designed. Yeah. Everybody has vastly different health. In vastly different armor. It's very weird. Um, Kung Fu Chaos. I remember this game coming out for Xbox. Oh, yeah. You remember that game? Yeah. Weird. Where you were like a director trying to make a Kung Fu movie, uh, but it was sort of like a side-scrolling brawler, too. And also it's kind re- of a hot turd. It's, <laughs> it's terrible, and it's racist. <laughs> oh, even better. Yeah. Um... Uh, Oh man, I'm tr- I'm really trying to think of games we haven't talked about before because I could be controversial. I could say, "Oh, the Halo series or GTA 4," or, but I didn't. I I don't like those games. I don't think they're bad. I just yeah. personally don't enjoy them. Um, um, <laughs> I don't even know. I th- I think I got one more. Okay, Puzzle Quest Galactics. Galactics. Oh yeah. Oof. Yeah. I don't think anyone even... I was so excited for that game, that too. Game. Oh, I was Puzzle super Quest Space, yes. Oh, wait, yeah. you changed the thing I liked about it. Never mind. Yeah. Wait, six sides? We don't need six sides. We only need four sides. Yeah, what are you doing? I, I need top to bottom. That's all I need. Yeah. What, uh, are, what are you doing? Ugh. Yeah, that is that is legitimately a bad game. Yeah, but I that feel was like, just disappointing. I feel, I feel like with how much games cost at this point, we get so few of those that aren't very obviously going to be bad games or games that really aren't for us because they're Dora yeah. the Explorer games or they're, you know, Disney Infinity. You know, it's not, they're not really necessarily, they're not games that are marketed towards us, you know, so yeah. we're, they're not going to be good for us at all. That's that's true. Yeah. Um, <laughs> all right, moving on to the next email here. Nintendo writes in, hey, TVG peeps. Uh, now that Boston has wrapped up his Final Fantasy V four-job Fiesta, what other games do you think could get some extra life from an event like the Fiesta? Bonus points for a game that isn't an RPG. Uh, my thoughts were a Left 4 Dead four, a Left 4 Dead run that is pistols only. Ooh. Um, you know, I think this is actually a really timely email because I just got done watching a lot of the Summer Games Done Quick uh, series, and a lot of those were. Not necessarily, so normally speedruns you'll see are like 100% or any percent, and they're finishing it in like three minutes, but there was yeah. actually one one run that was really interesting was Super Mario World, and it wasn't okay. 100%, and it wasn't any percent, it was, I'm going to collect every, dra- every Yoshi coin and every moon. Mm. So at each level has five Yoshi coins, and every world has one moon in it. And okay. he had to play every level and collect all of that stuff, but still speed run it. So it was hmm. interesting hearing them talk about one of the great things about the Done Quick, the Games Done Quick series is they usually have one person playing and then like two or three other people that speed run the game, explaining why or how they're doing stuff and then how they figured out that this breaks the game completely. Wow. So they were go- spending a lot of time f- explaining what they would do in a normal run and how much they had to do to kind of relearn the routes through the game to kind of accomplish all of this stuff. And I thought yeah. that was super cool. And I feel like that's kind of the something that would fit this email. It's kind of like, well, let's go through Super Mario World and co- not collect everything and not do everything, but collect mm-hmm. this one series of things that you just never get, even though you know it's there. Yeah. Um, I could see someone doing like a, a Castle Crashers run with like a specified set of weapons. Yeah. And like, okay, you're going to be the orange knight and you're going to use this weapon yeah, once like you get it. Yeah, like weapons only or something. Yeah, something like that. Yeah. 
Um, that did, that Left 4 Dead pretty. one is is pretty good because that, that's yeah that's solid. Yeah. Um, I can't even think of other games you could really do that with. I mean, Final Fantasy V is such a unique thing. Yeah. I'm, um, I'm trying to think of other games that I really love. That you know, there's stuff like. Um, could you finish Symphony of the Night with the very beginning weapon, like that first sword you pick up? Yeah. You know, stuff like that. There's, you know, low-level runs. I I saw a walkthrough for somebody who beat Final Fantasy V at level 5 across everybody. Um, That's how. <laughs> yeah, I, very careful planning and running from every battle you don't have to fight. Oh. Very, very interesting. Yeah. Um, I'm trying to think of any other really good speed runs that I saw in there that was interesting. Nothing really. Mm. Really crazy Spyro speed run. Yeah. Yeah. Well, it could be, you could do some interesting like uh, stuff with probably like Morrowind. Um, yeah. Only a certain type of armor or only Pick like you have to... Pick up of cheese. <laughs> yeah. Something like super crazy with that. Yeah. Um, yeah, a lot of non... Um, a lot of non-RPGs don't... Uh, actually, a lot of games don't really apply to that unless there's a bunch of collectible stuff you can do in there. Yeah, and like as far as RPGs go, it, it, it's even hard then because you have to have... The, the job system is so unique. Yeah. Um, you have to have... You, have, you could make every party member the same thing, or you can not... You know, yeah. you can choose whatever you want. Uh, it would have to be something like that. It'd have to be party based. Well, I mean, and even if you have look that at sort of flexibility, even if you look at Final Fantasy V's younger brother, um, Bravely Default, you yeah. can't even do it with that because the unique thing about Final Fantasy V is not only does it have a job system, but you get all of the jobs at four specific spots, and yeah. everybody gets the same jobs. So yeah. you can very much just throw out a dice and say, "Well, here you go." You know, this is what you get, and everybody will have a very similar experience. And finding another game like that is is fairly challenging. Absolutely. Yeah. Uh, but that's uh, it's super hot in here, and I know this episode <laughs> is long, but I'm I'm tired and it's really warm, so uh, we're just gonna cut it off there. Thank you very much, everyone, for sending in your all your tweets and emails, and thank you very much for everyone being in chat. There's a ton of yeah. people in chat today. That was um, awesome. If you'd like to visit us, you can do so at tvgp.tv. Email us tvgpfans at gmail.com. Tweet us at tvgp. And everything else is on the right hand side of the page. And Knobs would probably want you to know hey, you should join the forums because it's the best community on the internet. There are yes, no is. jerks in it. I know. They're mm -hmm. probably like, yeah, right. That's what man, That's how. No, they're legitimately very wonderful people in there. Uh, somehow we have gathered the nicest people on the internet and threw them into one forum. Um, yep. And uh uh oh mark yourself on the map. Yeah. And Monday night game Monday game night, uh ten, 10 PM, PM EST ESC. on three sixty yep. or on let's just say on Battlefield Four uh yeah. on Xbox One. And then Thursday night game night, um there's a great community of people on uh the uh Steam group on uh, yep. uh Steam community. Uh and they're just playing stuff all the time. There's a ton of people always online and Thursday night uh, there's just a bunch of people playing games, so go yeah, check that uh, out. We're gonna try and actually roll some uh, brutal legend multiplayer uh, for Thursday night game night before the end of uh, the game club period ends. Oh, nice! Um, so that'll be fun. Uh, hopefully, I actually have never played the multiplayer in that game, so it might be terrible. Uh, yeah, I haven't either. Um, so that's that should be really interesting. Uh, if we manage to get that off the ground. But remember, Game Club Game is Brutal Legend, and it is fantastic. Yep. Uh, the Chicago, the TVGP Chicago area meetup is going to be July 19th uh, from 11 a.m., that's when I'm getting there, uh, to 2 a.m., uh, sort of centered around Galloping Ghost. Um, Scott and I are trying to figure out the best way to handle the recap episode. We're thinking maybe we might broadcast it live from the arcade if we can get a spot. Oh, fun. Um, so we're going to try and figure out, I'm still sort of trying to figure out what the best way to handle that is because they do rent out like a gaming room, mm. uh, but I don't know if we'll need it for like the whole day or just a couple hours. Yeah. Um, and the, yeah, their, their prices are fairly decent, so... 
uh, we will hopefully have, I will hopefully have more on that front uh, this coming week. There you go. Tune in yep. to next week's show. Indeed. Uh, the other day, Jay-Z and Chad actually said the uh, Thursday night game night is um, ha- has been lagging a little bit. Um, if you want to uh, pitch in and help, uh, send a message and friend the other Jay-Z on Steam. That's the other J-Z-E-E. Um, mm-hmm. And uh, you could bring back Thursday night game night You were all together. Forums assemble. Yes. Take my tiny fists. Uh, All right, thank you very much, everyone, for listening, and we'll see you all next week. Later. All right, uh, I have three titles. What do you got? Uh, Hallways are for suckers. Yeah, I got that one, too. Uh, Chuck and spiders. (laughs) Okay. And it's just squares everywhere. Yeah, I got all of those, and those were all actually suggested by chat as well. Nice. So, all right, so I've got a couple here. Uh, Digital trips. Uh, attacked by a curtain. Uh, you're the best. Colon the video game. You are the best. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you, Traveler uh, Tales. <laughs> and then uh, Jay Z had a bunch. So you've got uh, you don't smash any pumpkins outside the '90s. Uh, my thumbs still hurt. Destroying the R button. Hallways are for suckers. Chuck and spiders. Uh, license board. B O R E D. Trying to find the best party. Uh, Montag had one. Uh, everybody lives and it's fantastic. And <laughs> talk to Joker. Doctor Who joke there. Yeah, uh, talk to Joker had a couple. Uh, it's just squares everywhere, and it doesn't get. Fu- I, I had another one here. It doesn't get fun. <laughs> I actually like <laughs> hallways are for suckers. I'm I'm a fan. Yeah, I like the. I really like. If anybody was ever wondering what makes a really good title, non sequiturs. Yeah, that's about all. <laughs> <laughs> all right, starting in three, two. One, this is That Video Game Podcast, episode 350 for July 7th, 2014. Hallways are for suckers. Squares are the answer to all your problems. <laughs> also, I forgot it was episode 350. Yay us! Yay! Almost all the way to 1,000 when this show is finally <laughs> over and I'm free! <laughs> uh, no, oh. I'm kidding. The only way I will stop doing the show is when I'm dead. <laughs> uh, all right, thank you very much, everyone, for watching. We'll see you uh, next week. Peace. Peace.